In this video, I am going to explain about float data type in Python programming. Float is one of the programmer defined class treated as a fundamental data type. The purpose of float data type is that to store real constant value or floating point values, nothing but numbers with decimal places like percentile of some entrance examination, percentage of some aggregate marks of some academic exams and uh, CGPA of different type of exams, so on. To represent such a type of data, we use a data type called float. By using this float data type, we are not only representing this floating point values, we can also represent the floating point values in the form of scientific notation. The general form of scientific notation is that mantis E exponent. The equivalent floating point value for scientific notation is mantis into 10 to the power of exponent. The E value can be taken always as 10 here. So that advantage of scientific notation is that to minimize the memory space of large floating point values. Let me summarize this everything in the form of a practical orientation. Let's consider open the Python command prompt or you can open Jupyter notebook. You can open Jupyter notebook. There I am showing the practical re representation of floating point values. Let's consider that. Float, open the new notepad. Here I am representing something like this. A is equal to 12.34. Print the value of A and its type. The value called 12.34 is the float type. If I take a small calculation, A is equal to 10, B is equal to 2.4. If I say C is equal to A plus B, and if I print the type of A and then its type, it is an inter type. If I print the B and then its type, it is a float. If I print the value of C, int plus float is going to be always float. So int is a subset of float data type here. So it is a float. In general, if I take it, scientific notation I am going to take it. If I write it 3E2, if I write it, it can be taken as, this can be calculated as 3 into 3 into 10 to the power of, 10 to the power of, I am writing a small calculation here, 10 to the power of 2, I am just writing it. So 3 into 100, 3 into 100, it can be taken as, it can be taken as 300.0, it can be taken as what, 300.0. So since it is a floating point value, it can be taken as it can be taken as 300.0 here. So let us see that print this, this is known as scientific notation. Print of A comma type of A, which is going to print 300.0. In other words, if I take it 10 E minus 2, if I take it, it can be taken as 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2, which can be calculated as 10 by 10 square which is called 1 by 1 by 10, which is taken as 0 0.1 as a floating point value. So here I am writing type of A, which is going to be taken as 0 0.1. In general, if I represent the data as 0 0.00005, like this, if I take such a big decimal point value, if I take it, it can be taken as A and then type of A. It can be taken as what? 5E minus 32. This can be represented as I said the formula 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2. In other way, you can take 0 0.0000, some 2, 3 I set, print of A I set, comma type of A, which is also going to be taken as something like this, 2.3E minus 3. 
that can be taken in the floating point format as 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 3. In other way round if I take it using the floating point values you cannot represent any number system values like as we use into data type we can represent binary octal hexa but in the case of floating point you cannot represent that binary data as 1010.0b1010 this will give you an error that indicates floating syntax error it is. We cannot represent number system values using floating point values. A is equal to 0B 1010.0x hexadecimal. I am writing something AC that is also going to give you syntax error. We can't represent hexa binary octal with floating point values. 0B finally 0 o i am writing 1 2 this is also going to give you an error so floating point data type is not only storing floating point values it is also storing scientific notation values for minimizing the memory space plus we cannot store we cannot directly represent binary octal hexadecimal values in floating data type value the Python programming does not contain double data type because float data type itself takes lower floating point values to very big floating point values we can store it. Hence float data type we use to store not only floating point values it can store scientific notation value for minimizing the memory space. Thank you for more videos subscribe Naresh IT channel.